We've seen how we can set up the chart of cash flow accounts by creating new cards and populating them manually. We can also make use of assisted setup to help automate the process of creating our chart of cash flow accounts. We can get to the assisted setup by searching for it using the search for page and selecting the relevant link or by going to set up and ext extensions and selecting assisted setup. From the page that opens, we can select set up cash flow forecast. In this demo company, the data has already been set, but we can run this again just to have a look. The wizard that opens prompts us to move forwards. We'll hit next to do so. We're given a warning if our cash flow forecast has already been completed, just letting us know that the cash flow forecast setup that does exist will be deleted for us to continue moving forwards. We'll say yes here for now. On this next page, Business Central will have pre-populated some of the fields in the wizard with suggestions. The first criteria we can specify here are the accounts we'd like to base the cash accounts on. We're welcome to change this if we need simply by ex expanding the range or adding other accounts that we deem necessary. The next field relates to how frequently we update the cash flow forecast. In the accountant's role center, that there is a chart that holds this data, a cash flow forecast chart. This chart is updated based on the frequency we specify here, and our options available are never, daily, or weekly. If we have users making use of the cash flow forecast chart, daily may be more useful as it ensures we have up-to-date figures that they are able to view each day. If we wish, we can enable Azure AI, which is a machine learning function that uses previous data and expense patterns to predict cash flow. Assisted setup will enable Azure AI as an automated process, which is very convenient. We can look at setting up Azure AI manually. However, it takes a little more time and is a little more complicated. When we're done here, we can move next. And if we have our own machine learning service, we can specify the API details here and use that. We'll move on to next for the time being. We can look now at specifying our tax periods. Our options here are monthly, quarterly, yearly, or by our accounting periods. We can specify our payment window next. We, here we use a date formula to specify what that is. For example, 20D can be used to specify 20 days into the next month, and we've got a specific current month plus one month plus seven day payment window uh, available set up here based on the previous entries for this demo database. We can also specify the account type that we pay our taxes to. Well, our options here are blank, vendor, and GL account. Selecting GL account will enable us to specify which specific account that we pay our uh, uh, taxes to. From here, we can drill down and search for and select the specific account we need. And when we're happy with how all of this looks, we can hit next to move us forwards. I'll just blank that out for now. We hit next to move us forwards and we're prompted to finish the setup for the cash flow forecast at this point. And we can hit finish to commit all the changes that we've made and continue on.